the amendment so that's etched in stone and if I were to ask that lady of that guy over there what's the first amendment he was telling me the same thing but if I were to ask him what is a hoe his definition will probably be or may be different from yours so can something that is not a solidified definition be a thing if it's subjective and not definitive can we use that as a base can we actually use that word as a base, an actual person, can we title somebody that? Or would we be able to say it's a ish? Somebody's being whole ish. Can it possibly be a character flaw? So there are a lot of words that have multiple meanings. Um, just because they have multiple meanings doesn't mean that you discount them. It doesn't mean that they aren't real. Yeah. There's black, white, and gray. We do know that those things have a particular place, right? So we don't know where poetism falls on that color spectrum if we use this as a thing. Right. But we do know that it is a thing. Um, when we talk about ho, when we talk about adjectives, um, and that the word is subjective, it doesn't make it not real. If we were to say beautiful, or if we were to say attractive, and to ask for the definite definition of that, um, you get multiple, you get multiple answers for that. Okay. And so I don't think that you would ever ask me to put a cap on what someone considers beautiful or what someone considers to be attractive. Um, and just because different people would have different definitions of that doesn't make it not real. Beautiful is a real thing. Attractive is a real thing. As is hope. Mother, look. That time can't erase. 